Okay. I think I would love to go to a town hall meeting when some politician come to my town sometime. Y'all sing it and to ask it, the, the, the caricature that comes up on YouTube and different stuff. Yeah, you know, I have had a tendency where I <laughs> took on the persona, but I ain't use no bad words and cussing nobody out, but. When you get displeased with something, let people know you're displeased. That's the only way we get change. They used to tell me that we had to do more squeak and get more all. So I'm going to I'm gonna squeak, squeak. Coming in, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me answer this phone. Hello? Hello? Speaking. Yes. Yes. Yes.
I'm sorry, y'all. Hello, Leeton. You took your driver's test? Well, I sure pray to the Lord that you passed it. I had to take that call. You're not in class this morning? Thanks for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let me think if I turn that here, don't make it. Oh, you know what they say? At first you don't succeed, try and try again. I didn't get mine on the first try. Darren, I didn't even try when I was as young as you are. So, hey, you already a step ahead of where I was at your age as far as that. Okay, but study the book now. Study the book. Study. You know how when you do, if you want to pass that test, you got to study, so study. Oh, my cough is so tasty this morning. Good morning. Big E's, Big E Z. How are you? Please give this video a thumbs up. I hope everybody had had a nice weekend and a nice Monday. Oh, Racer, Nader, I'm sorry you got in an accident. I hope you are okay. Be careful. I told you there's a lot of crazies out there. You don't have to go too far to meet up with them. Sometimes you're right in Walmart. <laughs> you start walk Big Easy, you say you start walking this morning? Well, you know what? That's a good thing to do, you know? And if you live in a house with stairs, go up and down a couple of flights of stairs. I live in a house with stairs, but with bad knees and stuff like that. On my good days, I try to go up there. I don't go up too often, you know, but it's good. Take control of your health, your life. Oh, I hope everybody else is okay too, Racer. Please, everybody, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that I am doing an okay job, okay? But my topic for today is live and learn. And, you know, I don't care what your age is, you live and learn, because if you're not living, you can't learn it. If you're dead, you know, when you're dead, you're done. There's, there's, no, there's nothing else you can do. But even someone, Leeton, said she took a driver's test. She didn't pass. She lived and learned. She learned that she got to go back and take it once more. To how many ever tries? Right? So we all oh he have a concussion. Oh, uh, we're telling be care be careful. Take care. And I hope your cousin feel better soon. I'm sorry, Leeton. I am so sorry. See, if you had told me this yesterday, I am so sorry. I figured with T on N on the end of your name. But anyway, forgive me. I didn't know. 
So for future reference, guys, if you go, see what I'm saying? Live and learn. Maybe I should have asked, and maybe you should have told me, which, you know, we're not going to follow out over that. Like you said, it's cool. I keep forgetting I got my coffee warmer over here. I got to work on some t-shirts today. I got a whole lot of stuff. I keep putting lotion on my face or whatever. Then when I go to get my glasses, I stick my finger in them. See? I haven't lived and learned. I've lived that, but I haven't learned that. Okay. So what's everybody, uh, excuse me. What is everybody plans for today? Oh, Racer, well see, there's another live and learn opportunity. Whatever you done to cause the, ac the accident, you know not to do that again because you lived it and you learned not to do it again. You see? Okay, Big Easy. Shopping. One of my favorite pastimes. That's my sport of choice. Hello, Marie. How are you? I was I was just telling them because. Leeton is a young person and Racer is a young person. And I, um, our topic today is live and learn. And Leeton said he was in a car accident. And happy birthday, Leeton. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you, happy birthday to you. I am wonderful. I stayed up past three o'clock last night watching a movie that came up on YouTube in my recommended ones, Gladys Knight, in a movie called The Pipe Dream. And I said, let me turn this thing off and go to sleep. I got up at a little after nine o'clock. So oh, I'll talk to I was mentioning it for Marie. You you wouldn't understand. I, I, I think this move is geared towards, you know, someone that's a little older than what you are. And y'all know I always my mug of choice today is Javalia. I don't know. Ooh, I got it on the warmer and it's ooh. I know it's it must be an older it's an older movie because you know she was married to someone named Barry Hankerson. So they said introducing Barry Hankerson, and then when the credits was going up, it said he was the executive producer. So he probably produced that movie for her. Oh, Layton said he got his first job. He start work tomorrow. Well, congratulations on your new job, Layton. Congratulations on your new job. I remember my first job. You were working in the mall. Ooh. Don't spend all your money in the mall now. Being in a place like the mall, you see a lot of stuff that would take your interest and a lot of shiny stuff too. You know, a lot of people like the shiny stuff. You cooking breakfast, Marie? You know, I need to start. 
Well, I'm glad, Layton, that your arm is better. Each day, it will get a little better. Trust and believe. So, Marie, how was your weekend? I got to make a video of some things that um, I got from the thrift store the other day. You know, there's so much to do in a day. But like they said, Rome wasn't building in a day. I turned it off for a minute. Yeah, you will. Like I said, study the book. Get the book and study it. That's the only way you're going to pass is know what's on the test. Marie, how are the kids? Y'all know when they say when uh, Marie, remember when all that stuff came out about mocking your video if they were for kids or whatever? And you remember when all that hype was going on about COPPA, COPPA, whatever they call it, the children's um, online protection, uh, public protection act, or I guess that's the name of it. Remember when they had all that hype and everybody was blowing up YouTube with information on it all? You get new shoes? Hey, I love shoes. Shoes and handbags are, ugh. I love to go shopping here, but shoes and handbags. And now since I don't wear heels that much, it's hard to find a nice looking pair of flats. You know, because if you, you want to have your shoes in coordination with your outfit, if you got a more elegant outfit, you, you want a pair of elegant shoes. And, you know, you want to match your outfit. Oh, you'd be working in a record store. I didn't know they had record stores in the mall. Hmm. Well, I need to come down there and sell them some records. <laughs> I got thousands, thousands upon thousands. This summer, I sold 600 on Craigslist for $325. Oh, what's that? For your information? FYE? Hmm. And you say you're located? You're in New York or are you in um, LA? We need to get back to. Yeah, most. Um, well, when you go to work, let me know. Is it on? Um, hey, Nicholas. Everybody, please give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, well, let me know if the records are vinyl. If Well, I guess there would be records if it's vinyl. But I, I didn't know they're going to start back out making vinyl. Hmm. I got to work on my, my vinyl. I sent off a box yesterday with, I think, 18 records to Amazon. And that's small because you like seeing anywhere from 30 to 50 and up. Nicholas, my mug today is Javalia. Maria, I don't know if you remember a company called Javalia. Javalia, G E V A L I A. Back in the day, well, they are a coffee company. I don't know if they're still in business, but they used to will, used to go we fill out something, like a kind of coffee you love and different kind of little stuff they'll put up there for you to answer questions. And they would ship the coffee through the mail. And your first shipment, you got a drip coffee filter. Grip filter, coffee filter. A uh, drip filter coffee maker. That's what I was trying to say, y'all. Okay. 
I remember. Yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah, you probably see nice rec stores up there. But I got these mugs from a thrift store. And this is a look. Good morning, Cindy. This is my mug for today, Javalier. This is a little smaller than the ones because when when the curry would run in my coffee in there, it was about full. So I had to put a little measuring cup under it to catch just a little bit. So what I did, I drank it down, poured it in there. Yeah, Javalier used to sell coffee through the mail. And on your, your first your first mail order, they sent a coffee maker, a drip filter coffee maker through the mail. And y'all know that they claim it was free. Y'all know salvation is the only thing that's truly free. Like you're going to pay in some way. When you're paying every month for that coffee they ship you, mm -hmm. never knowing that you would pay a little less if you just go on to the store and buy your coffee. I never ordered it. I got this mug from a thrift store. And, um, but maybe tomorrow I use my SpongeBob mug, but that's about the same size. Then y'all know when I drink coffee, I go all the way in. Cindy, our topic today is live and learn. You know, when you're a young child, a baby, you know, one of the first things you learn. It, if you pick something up on your mama coffee table, she's going to tap that hand. <laughs> that's one of the first thing you learn. Don't touch. And, you know, that's something that could go with us all through life. Because there are things we shouldn't touch. In the Bible, the Lord tells us to touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Thank you. Hi, Sandra. And, you know, the... Uh, I remember, y'all know I'm going to reference a music or a TV show. Y'all remember when the Jackson made a, a song called I Betcha? And one of the things they said on in that song, ice cream on a red hot stove with milk, and I betcha. That's right, Sandra. It tells us in God's word, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. And like I said, one of the first things you learn when you were is a, when you're a young child is if your parents or grandparents, whoever, got something on that coffee table or even something close that's on a regular table and you can reach, but they don't tell you to touch it. Hmm. They 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 tap their hand. And I've heard folks say, you know, a lot of folks, because some children will ease, you know, they'll turn around and look at you. And while they're looking at you, they're easing up trying to. Touch it, you know? And somebody might say, ah, I heard people say that child gonna learn, gonna think his name is ah. <laughs> but we we live and learn a lot of things. Everything that we can come across is not good for you. Uh, somebody made a song said too much of anything ain't good for you. Sometimes a little bit of something. There are some things, just a little bit of it is not good for you. Because I don't see where a little alcohol or a little cocaine, a little heroin, not good for you. So I'm put my coffee back on the warmer. So there, there's a, um, thank you, Cindy, for saying it's a great topic. And there's a lot of things, you know, we live and learn. Like Leeton took his eyes the window of the soul. That's right. Oh, your eyes see so much, you know. And some of the main things we want are things we shouldn't have or have no business with or that are not ours, you know. But I was listening to um, uh, how it hear from, um, you know, he used to sing with the um, Shalom, with Shalimar. I didn't mean to say with the Shalimar, but he used to sing with Shalimar. And I have a CD um, that has him singing. 
I say amen. And in that, he tells us that there's a cattle on a thousand hills, and they're all ours to claim, to claim them in his holy name. So there are a lot of things we can touch, you know, and there's some things we should never touch. Because I don't want to touch a cactus or a porcupine. I don't want to touch that red hot stove that Jackson was talking about. If you put ice cream on a red hot stove with milk, and I bet you. So there's a lot of aspects of living and learning. I've learned I need to spike up my liquid intake, especially water. And let me tell y'all, <clears throat> Sunday night, I had some of the worst cramps in my leg I have had, I think, in my whole, uh, excuse me, y'all, in my whole life. I don't know what's going on. And uh, so, and I remember that I had slacked off a little bit drinking water because I used to just keep water with me everywhere I go. I try to keep some sitting by my bedside. Sandra, that's right. They that's right. They tell us to teach them. You know, teach them, teach them that there are things expected of us. First thing, as females, there. You know, when I was growing up, and right now, I seem to think that morals and uh, standards had gone out the window. Because when I was growing up. Oh, you're welcome, Sandra. When I was growing up, one of the main things they taught you was how to be ladylike. I remember on Facts of Life when they was when they had someone that there was someone that was, I think, trying to grab girls and stuff, and they was gonna give them a um they had like this uh, self-defense class. And you know, Blast, she was the little prim and proper one, you know, and they told her to to need the man. In the groin. Now she said, Oh, I can't do that. And somebody said, Well, she said, That's not ladylike. So we need to be taught because if we don't teach them at home, the world is going to teach them. And you know, most of this stuff the world teaches them is not thing we care for them to know in the first place, huh? You know? And one thing I like to tell my granddaughters, if you go out, have yourself together. Don't be showing all that God gave you. Don't be having hanging out here. Tuck me in here. Tuck in your shirt. That's right, Sandra. Man, oh, that's right. But they must be taught because if they don't know, if they don't know what's expected of them, they're not going to know how to carry on. Hey, Robin, we are talking about living and learning. And good morning. It says six in the chat. Only three thumbs up. Can I get three? Y'all see how I do that, right? Can I get three more thumbs up, please? And that's why, you know, and I tell them when you wear a dress, wear a slip. You know, it used to be frowned upon. Um, you couldn't find slips. Everybody was like, I don't wear slips. I got a drawer full of slips, y'all. All kinds of color, whole, half, long, you know. So where I tell them, wear a slip. And um, when, like I said, when I was growing up, you were taught. To have manners. First thing you, first thing we're taught, whether male or female, right from wrong. Because if there, are, if there's a wrong way to do something, there's a right way to do something too. So we need to get back to the old landmark. We need to teach male and because we need to tell the male, hey, you go and teach these these young men. You know, teach them if they go out with a girl, they don't have to touch, especially in the places, hey, 
when I was coming up, hmm, you didn't even think about holding no hands, y'all. See, I remember one time my mom had a house party. Cause y'all know back in the day, we trusted people enough to let a whole gang of them in our house at one time. Because somebody would bring somebody else. Sometimes you knew and sometimes you didn't. And I was engaged to my husband. So I remember, I think Joe Tex was playing. I don't remember the song, but I do remember it was Joe Tex. So, and, and mom was selling chickens and hot dogs, chicken sandwich, fish sandwiches, hot dogs. Because we didn't eat a lot of burgers back then. So... I went and talked to my fiance, so I sat in his lap. My grandma was there, my maternal grandma. She told my mom, she told my mom, we always said ma, my children said ma too, ma, M-A. She told my mom to go tell me to get out of his lap. So my grandma said I shouldn't have sat in his lap. So I got up. I didn't say, you know, we're getting married. I was sitting if I want to. Because a lot of people, they don't care what your A's are. If they're going to rattle off at you and say things, they're going to say it. Please, everybody, can I get three more thumbs up? Six in the chat. Y'all see that? Every time I'm going to put them six in the chat. And we only have three thumbs up. So if they was teach if we would teach the young girls like to, they would teach them when I was coming up, you wouldn't have to tell them but one time. And a lot of times you can look at them and they know what, what that look is for. Anybody ever tell, tell you when you were growing up and you know you were doing wrong, but when mama look at you and give you that look like that, what they call now the stink eye, the side eye, she can look at you and you like. And she might not was spank you, but she's thinking, wait till your father get home. My son said the other day he was watching a movie. And someone said in the movie, somebody asked, when you were being bad, who, who would your mama tell you were going to get you? The boogeyman. <laughs> my son said, my mom would just say, let me tell your daddy when he get home. He's a cop. Daddy was scary, scarier than any boogeyman. Because <laughs> daddy wants you to get your act together. He wants you to spend your life behind bars. A certain portion of your life behind bar bars. Yes, and they will give you that look. And they didn't have to do it a whole, whole lot of times, you know. Now you can look at kids you want to and they be like, and... Because my granddaughter, right up, well, she, I mean, you know, when she's here, she's upstairs in her room or out there, um, whatever. And sometimes, and you know, that's what the Bible tells us about the mixed multitude. When we are all mingling with each other and we take on a persona of these things, of people that we are around. Because sometimes she'll come in here and she'll try to clap back at me. I said, oh, no, you don't, honey. My mom used to say, you know, she would get a bell. I mean, a, a switch. And, and she would get that switch. They didn't have, all they had to do let you know they had a switch. Because, you know, back in the day, they would send you to the bush to get your switch. And you can come back in here with one too short if you want to. Oh, okay. But we always need to be, because somebody, there's something, even somebody younger than us, we, we still, we still could be taught. Even there are things I learned at the age I am, because I in no ways feel that I know it all. There's some things I've experienced that might put me a little step ahead, but you know, they said wisdom should come with age. And I thank God he is allowing me the wisdom to age nicely. And I don't take it lightly and I don't take it for granted.
because my granddaughter come in and she'll say something. And I might have said something else. And there are times when she tried it, or folks could say, rare up. Sometimes she'll try this. I told you, you can try this stuff with your friends, but you don't try it here. Oh, you homeschool? Oh, wonderful. I think a lot of people can start homeschooling because it's just so unsafe. I had I had thought about it one time, but hey, my children finished public school and my grandchildren. I have, I think, two grandchildren in private school. But you see, that's why a lot of people, because of things that people, there's some things that people learn. And they have, some people go through stuff, and they, they, you think they should learn, but they haven't learned a thing. Because some people are like criminals. They're said criminal return back to the crime, right? Some people go back through stuff. Go to jail, get out. Knowing what put you in, put them in that place. And sometimes it's just the company you keep. Because I used to hear my mom and grandpa, grandma and all the people say, you're known by the company you keep. And that's true. Because if you're running away a people that's known criminal, what's going to be thrown to you? A criminal. I'm sorry you bored Leighton. Maybe Leighton, this is probably over your head, but see, like I said, you can learn. Hey, Catherine Smallwood, thanks for being here. Everybody, please give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, sometimes people go through things and you and you would and you would think they will learn. Because a lot of people that goes back to jail, I repeat, offenders. Sometimes they, some, some people feel that they've been in the institution so long that they don't know how to live on the outside. Like I said, you know, if you don't, if you don't put yourself in that learning atmosphere. And we don't want history to keep repeating itself. And, and they'll say, you know, and don't tell a child, you just like your daddy, you just like your mama. You know, don't say that. Especially if it's got a stigma, bad connotation to it, don't say it. And you know what else? I don't want, like when, when, when they ask children who are their role model, and I remember back in the day, all the little black boys were saying, I want to be, I want to be like Mike. Michael Jordan ain't never been a role, role model. A role model should be, now he, he's a good role model, don't get me wrong. Although that's doing the right things, keeping the nose clean, that's helping the community doing all this stuff. Active in that church, living a life that's pleasing to God. Yes, role model. But you know who are my role model? The people that I saw that lived a life before me that I could pattern my life after. My mom, my grandma. And there are some things mom did that I didn't do because mom smoked. I never smoked. She never drank. I never drank. But the role models, I will children or those around us that we see, they shouldn't have to say role model Michael Jordan or, you know, someone, Dwayne, Dwayne Wade, I don't know these folks' names, y'all. Or some of these, they should say my mother is a role model for me because I like the way she took care of us. She kept a good house. She managed her own business. 
She mind her own business. She took care of the family. And you know, when you when when cause y'all know the salaries back in the day was oh was some of the worst, which a lot of you know they're saying they want to get up to fifteen dollars an hour, whatever. Y'all know if your mom was the one that took care of the finances, made sure the bills were paid, did this and did that, she could take that little bit of money. And back then, when I was growing up, they didn't have food stamps. They didn't have wit. You know, if you got something from the store to eat, your parents bought it. Or uh, if there was somebody in the neighborhood. When I was growing up, there was also always somebody that was going fishing or had um, like apple trees and pear trees and stuff like that. And they would bring you stuff. You know, the, they would say, I know there's a man in our neighborhood that used to always go fishing. And he would say, I love to go fishing, but, you know, he just catch too many. He know my, it, there was, you know, a, a, a lot of us. And he would give us fish. And, you know, fish has always been my favorite food. It's always been my mom's favorite food. And y'all know what else? We ate what was set in front of us. If we came home and my mom was cooking beans, and she made them good old nice homemade biscuit. Honey, it was good enough for me, let me tell you. Now, children only want beans if they are baked beans. I can the other day I cooked some navy beans. Come my granddaughter always come home from school. So what you making? So I told her I cooked navy beans. And she said, Oh, I'll make me noodles. Thank you, Catherine. Y'all know I, I did hit my 1K and I haven't had my 1K celebration, so I'm going to have to figure out something. I think what I would like to do, um, I don't get to go live on Screen Yards until the 14th. So I think I would love to have something on Screen Yard and have somebody come on a panel with me, have a special guest. So that's what I was thinking about. So now I got the Catherine, now I got to work on those hours. If anybody could run my playlist, I got a 24 hour playlist. I'm going to tweak my playlist to make sure only my, you know, when you like a video, it goes in the playlist. So I'm going to tweak my playlist to make sure only my videos are in my playlist. And please, if you watch anyone's playlist, whether it be mine or somebody else, only watch it once. Because if you watch it more than one time, the hours decrease instead of increase. And I I need to do a marathon because I, I need some hours, y'all. But I'm about halfway there. So I'm closer today than I was yesterday. Thank you, Catherine. I have a 24-hour playlist, and I'm going to go back in that playlist and make, I think I need to add some more videos to that. So I'm going to go back to that playlist. Let me see. Y'all know, YouTube said once you get 1,000 subscribers, you're supposed to be able to go live on your phone. I, I can't go live on my phone. And I got my... I got my um my community tab last week. But I don't have, I still can't go live. I still can't go live on my um on my phone. Yeah, I'm gonna go back through my 24 hour playlist and make sure. That's all that's in there. And I got to add some more stuff to my, to some more of my playlist. It 
it was Bird, Birdie, Fortify, Fortify, what is that? Are you a troll? Please don't come in here with a whole lot of mess. I don't go in anybody else's lab. I don't go around bothering anybody. And I'll... Thank you, Marie. I never understood why people just can set out to do just like that person is doing. So, you know, I, Marie, do you keep up with your hours? Do, do you, um, like when you go live, do, are you keeping, oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. Next time explain yourself so we won't have to take it the wrong way. Okay. I think I did burp, but if you had to see, if you had to watch the old the whole video, you would have known. See, we we don't know if someone is not a troll, but if you come in and don't make yourself clear, and it seemed like something a troll would do or say, then okay. Well, I'm glad you corrected it, and thanks for being here. I need four more thumbs up, guys. I think somebody might have left without giving thumbs up what that there is. See, there you go. No, I will not burp. Will you leave? You know, I try to be nice to everybody. If you want to be friendly to my channel and be in here. Be like everybody else. Don't be a statistic in my channel. Because Verdi, we will block you and we will we will report you. Because who goes and burp just because somebody said we you burp? A heathen? Thank you. So y'all know if you don't if you don't um, deem respect, people won't give it to you. Thank you, uh, Robin. I keep getting you mixed up with dumpster diving, diva. Sorry, I got your name wrong. That's right. Because the Bible tells us everything has to be done decent and in order. Don't it say that? Y'all know we can live and learn as called to the Bible. Because if you do things decent and in order and have your motives, let people know what your motives are. If I find out that your motives are not genuine, then mm -mm, you and I would just become unglued. So we got about nine minutes, y'all. We just gonna do a little girl chat. We just gonna, we just gonna, we just gonna chat. Okay. I was, I was trying to think of some games I can come on and play sometime. And I had thought about um, been there and done that. That's something I just come up with. That's right, Sandra, be equally yoked. That's right. And the Bible tells us not to be unequally yoked. I thought of making a little game called Been There, Done That, right? When someone would put something in there and everybody else would put whether they've been there I done that, and we don't want anything that's vulgar or anything that's unsavory. But it'd be something that's would be, you know, something that would spike our mood. You know, something that would get you, get you, you know, cause some 
There are some people that don't that go the whole day and figure they don't have anything to smile about, y'all. You know, they have that attitude, you know, kind of like the don't care attitude, you know. I don't care how I treat you because things are going bad for me. How's the weather where everybody is? Yesterday it was about 75, 80 degrees here in North Carolina, and today it's kind of mild. So we didn't have to turn it. Oh, you that's right, Sandy. We have hope in Christ. That's right. I guess I guess when I get off, when I um close this out, I guess I had to finish paying my bills. I ran around yesterday. I didn't get to come on live till after four o'clock. So I'm going to try to get some things done today, finish up, then I have some reading to do. <clears throat> That's right, Sandra. Yeah, because um, your area... Probably your area where you are in Maryland, because you're on the East Coast too, your weather will mimic, kind of mimic ours. And I know there are some days where, you know, there will be. See, I'd soon I try to. I got to work on my concoction, because, you know, I make, I take shea butter and a little coconut oil and some other oils and make. Some stuff I use on my face and some stuff I use on. And the, the stuff that I use, Cindy, it's cold and windy where you are. Six to eight in Florida. Sixty-eight in Florida is cooler than what it was. It was about seven between seventy-five and eighty yesterday. So I'm thinking it's about the same thing today. Cause when I went to put something on the mail, I think the mail already came. I stuck two letters up there, so I'm going to go and drop them in the drop. Well. What part of Florida are you? Sin, are you in New York or, or, or Chicago somewhere? Or Philadelphia? Where is, I, I'm going to tell you, I've been, New, I'll say this over and over again. Mom can say, I said it to her, blue in the face. New York and Philadelphia are two of the coldest places I've ever been in my life. Cindy, you in California and it's 40. What? So y'all switch. We got the highs yesterday or today. And y'all got the lows. That is cold for California. And uh, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people in California because of the weather or said they don't have coats or sweaters. Some people keep a little lightweight coat for if it get cool. But I I watch thrifting videos of someone who's in Florida, Dion Dean. And then I watch, and she'd be telling us about the bins in Florida, the thrift stores and all that kind of stuff. And she loved jackets and coats. And she said a lot of time it don't get that cold, but she is a reseller. And I think she teaches. I think I think she teaches and I think she's in fashion merchandise. And then there's someone who's in California named Jillian Felice. I watch her video and she do a lot of nice vintage. Y'all know how I love vintage clothing, the blouses, different stuff like that. Oh, she has so if you're into vintage, Dion D, I think she likes vintage too. I was wondering. Tuesdays, one of the days, my husband and I usually go to a thrift store. 
But today would have been a nice day because it's nice and warm. But now it's too late for us to get started because we would have to go to Virginia and it's like an hour and a half, two hour drive. So we would have to leave. You know, I don't come across a lot of, I have, I think I had some pins, some, you know how they used to have those stick pins. I think I got some stick pins that I very seldom wear. I have a, um, a cameo brooch and a couple like that. I need to get me some red earrings or some black earrings. I'm thinking about buying some stuff and, and make make me some earrings and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got California weather and California got your weather. I want to buy one of those jewelry jars, but when I've been in Goodwill and seen the jewelry jar, they have theirs overpriced. And I'm just not going to do it. Because you might end up with a bunch of mess that you don't want. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Marie, let me know when you, let us know when you, when you do the video. Yeah. Yeah. I don't come across that much vintage jewelry because some places that I go that have the vintage jewelry, they, sometimes the prices can be outrageous. Oh, I love thrift and um, I'll tell y'all something. Now, like in here, in the dining room here, the only thing we bought new was our dining room front, which I wish my ch channel closet was a little bigger because y'all know I love glassware too. And I can load this place up with glassware um, and different dinner plates and Little cutesy serving bowls and stuff. Oh, I'm gonna have to go and look for it, Marie. Thank you for letting us know, everybody. Hey, y'all. Do y'all would y'all like to raise somebody's video? I haven't done a raid in a long time. Cause I think it was last week or week before last, someone raided my video. So is there anybody on that we could raid? Marie, do you know anybody that's on that we could raid? We don't, you know, is there seven in the chat? Hey, I tell you what, I wouldn't care how many come in to raid me, you know, giving me the time. And it's been an hour. So if y'all know anybody we could raid, oh, I think um. Carter's Eat is on. Anybody? Marie, do you know anybody we could raid? Because I don't know how long I'll be able to stay on because, like I said, I do have some stuff I need to do. So when it's time for me to come back at 3 o'clock. This is what I saw on Facebook yesterday. Now, I don't know how true it is, y'all. Listen, it says, million pounds of red meat being sold as boneless chicken wings in U.S. I hope that's not true. Okay. So Maria's going to check to see if anybody else is on We Can Raid. And we'll decide who we're going to raid. Let me get up when I find me a little doggy, y'all.
We need to pe people. Thank you, DMV Diana. I need to work on some t-shirts, y'all. I think I'm going to do a t-shirt. Okay. Well, we're going to raid Carter's Eat, y'all. When we go in there, we're going to say a thrift and grandma raid. Okay. So, everybody, until next video. Oh, Maria, I was going to ask you, do you keep up with your time now when you go live? Because I know CC Uncut told us one time. I was keeping up with mine. But I, since I couldn't go on live on on YouTube, and uh, I had a book, I was keeping it in. But I'm I'm so everybody says eight in the chat, five thumbs up, and I thank you. But we're gonna raid Carter's eat, okay? So when you go in, just put in thrift and grandma raid. If you can't stay. Please, let's stay for at least 15 minutes so they'll get credit with the time. Because I know, like me, I know I may not be able to stay in there, but I may leave, you know, leave it running. And when you run videos, you can't run them on mute. You don't get credit for if you run them on mute. Okay, y'all, until the next video. Bye-bye. Hopefully, you can come back at 3.